Skin crates are for Sons of the American Legion Radio. We're in Coney Island, Brooklyn tonight at the Brooklyn Wall of Remembrance and a, and a very solemn uh, 9-11 uh, ceremony tonight. And we have a chance to talk with uh, Chief Thomas Richardson from the New York City Fire Department. And Chief, uh, tell us about your thoughts. You gave a, a very heartfelt uh, uh, talk tonight. What was it like for you to be here tonight? So anytime we uh, come together as a family and a community to commemorate uh, the men and women who passed away on 9-11, it's always heartfelt. Uh, when we come to a, a monument such as this, where you actually can see the faces of the folks that passed on 9-11, these were people that lived a life of service, and they chose to live a life of service. They chose the business that they were in, whether police officer or firefighter, and they do it because they love it. They do it because they want to serve people. They want to help people. And any time uh, we're able to come together to remember that, uh, we're honored to do so. So I was here with many of my colleagues from the leadership in the fire department tonight. And uh, we do our very best to get around to so many of the different ceremonies all around the city between today and tomorrow and uh, this weekend, uh, just to make sure really that people understand that uh, we certainly aren't in it for the paycheck. We're in it to serve. We're in it to help people, and we love what we do, and we'll continue to do so. Firefighters and police officers each and every day, every moment of the day right now are out in the city uh, responding to alarms, responding to emergencies, providing medical care to folks, and they'll continue to do that each and every day, and they do it with humility uh, because that's who we are as a people. And, sir, you talked about uh, the character of New York City firemen and the same applied to New York City policemen uh, to go into dangerous situations to serve and to protect people. Uh, why is that such a characteristic of, of uh, policemen and firemen in, in New York City? You know, I think that when someone makes a decision to take on one of these jobs, a job in public safety, um, they do it consciously. However, Sometimes we really don't know what we're getting into. I started as a young man. My dad was a Korean War veteran. Uh, he was a volunteer firefighter, and I saw how much he loved it. But I don't think we really understand until we actually get there. We get into the firehouse or when a police officer gets to the station and they start to meet the folks that came before them that are going to teach them, that are going to mentor them. I think that they learn more about the character and the competence and the humility that folks serve with. And they just want to be good at their job. Everybody wants to be as good as they possibly can be to do their job. And so we continually talk about that. That's what we do. Those of us that have been around a while, uh, one of our main jobs is to mentor those that came after us, the next generation, and the generations to come. The generations that come after us, they're just as good as we were. and. Uh, I think we were just as good as the folks that came before us, and it's our job to teach them. I kind of often refer to it as being stewards, stewards of the fire service, stewards of law enforcement if they're in the police department. Our job is to maintain a sense of duty, honor, commitment, and such, and treat people with respect. There's some terrific uh, young firemen uh, here today as part of the uh, ceremony. And uh, what do you want uh, young members of the fire department who were not there at 9-11 at that time to understand about the heroism of, uh, of those who uh, fought uh, the 9-11 uh, uh, tragedy that day? And there's so many things we could say, but I would say that what the young people need to know is that you have to always be prepared. We constantly preach preparedness, training, because we never know what we're going to respond to. No two alarms are exactly the same. And so the men and women that responded on 9-11, uh, I think they knew they were going to something really bad. I think many of them knew this could possibly be the last time they were going to respond. And like one of the gentlemen said tonight, they did it anyway. And they did it because we chose to do this. We chose to serve. We chose to do our job. And so to the young folks on the job today, I would say that you just need to prepare yourself for anything. And when you go to work, you know, make sure you say hi, you say goodbye to your family uh, in a loving way. 
and make sure that they understand that you're prepared. You're, you're prepared to do your job and you are working with the best people on the face of the earth as a firefighter and a uh, law enforcement officer if that's the case. Um, all the folks on this job want to be good at their job and they want to teach those to be good at their job. So um, uh, in, in the end of the day, at the end of the day, I would say preparedness is the key. Chief Thomas Richardson of the New York City Fire Department. I always will say you're the best fire department in the world. Great to talk with you. Thank you for your service, and uh, I appreciate your remarks here tonight. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Have a great night. God bless. Our pleasure. This is Ken Kratzer for Sons of American Legion Radio in Coney Island, Brooklyn.